All right, so I'm gonna talk about one exercise. It's called the straight-legged deadlift. I have my trusty dumbbell here, so I'm gonna show you that exercise. Now, I'm gonna do the exercise in a posterior pelvic tilt first, and then an anterior pelvic tilt. Okay, so posture, that means I tuck in the tailbone, my back is flat, and I'm gonna do a straight-legged deadlift. That means my knees are soft, but not they don't bend, it's not like a squat. And I'm gonna come down into this straight-legged deadlift. And I'm gonna keep going, keep going, until I feel a stretch in the hamstrings. So because I'm a little bit flexible here, I could go really low. And then I'm gonna come right back up. So you can see how much range of motion I have in that exercise with a posterior tilt. However, if you're gonna do that exercise with a posterior pelvic tilt, you're gonna find that you're gonna find a little bit of discomfort in the lower back. So what I get people to do is the opposite. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a slight anterior tilt. So you can see my lower back is slightly arched. And I'm gonna come down, and as I come down, it's almost like I'm sticking my rear end out the other side there. Okay, so slight posture tilt, and you'll notice I'm not getting as low because I feel the stretch right here. I have the dumbbell just at knee height. I feel the stretch, it's a lot more effective, and slowly come up nice and slow. All right, so it makes a big difference if you do a straight leg and dead length with an air interior tilt as opposed to a posterior tilt. The other uh, reason why we do it with anterior is if you do a posterior tilt and you do a deadlift, people tend to round the shoulders in the back and then all of a sudden we've got that really poor posture. Okay, so I often sit up tall, shoulders back, tilt the pelvis slightly anteriorly and then all of a sudden that exercise is so much more effective and you don't have to go to the floor to get the effectiveness of that exercise.